Welcome to our Sunday greetings. Welcome everyone from Berlin and Leicester and Augsburg, from South Asia and the Caribbean, from Germany and other parts of the world. Tomorrow we will celebrate the founding of the Moravian Church back in 1457 and we are reminded of the worldwide nature of our church. Those who were far come close together and this is what we do today. So let's celebrate together. Do not fear, for I am with you. Isaiah 43 verse 5. Do not be afraid, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not driven to despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. 2 Corinthians 4, verses 8 to 9. Thank you, God, for everything in my life, the good and the bad. Some were blessings and some were lessons. Hallo, ich wünsche euch allen einen wunderschönen guten Morgen. Ich lese euch die Losung zum heutigen Sonntag. So fürchte dich nun nicht, denn ich bin bei dir. Jesaja 43, Vers 5. Der Lehrtext dazu. Wir sind von allen Seiten bedrängt, aber wir ängstigen uns nicht. Uns ist bange, aber wir verzagen nicht. Wir leiden Verfolgung, aber wir werden nicht verlassen. Wir werden unterdrückt, aber wir kommen nicht um. 2. Korinther 4, Vers 8 bis 9. Today we remember courageous Christians in Bohemia in the 15th century. They enjoyed following God's word. They shared poverty and property. They were ready to face persecution and homelessness for their faith. At the beginning of the ancient Moravian Church, there was an agreement between the brothers and sisters to live according to the Gospel of Jesus Christ and to recognize the Sermon of the Mount as a guideline. In 1457, 564 years ago, a group withdrew to a place called Kuhnwald in Bohemia to lead a life of charity and peaceful coexistence. Every year on March 1st, we are reminded of this. We thank God for all he has done for us during the long time. Today, we also look at what unity means in our time. The corona pandemic helped us to set up regular meetings of sisters and brothers in Great Britain, in India and Germany, Berlin. We would like to share this experience with you today in this service. Sing to the Lord, all the world. Worship the Lord with joy. Come before him with happy songs. Acknowledge that the Lord is God. He made us and we belong to him. We are his people. We are his flock. Give thanks to him and praise him. The Lord is good. His love is eternal and his faithfulness lasts forever. Second Corinthians five seventeen to twenty. Anyone who is joined to Christ is a new being. The old is gone, the new has come. All this is done by God 
who through Christ changed us from enemies into his friends and gave us the task of making others his friends also. Our message is that God was making all human beings his friends through Christ. We plead on Christ's behalf. Let God change you from enemies into his friends. You have heard that it was said, love your friends, hate your enemies. But now I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may become the children of your Father in heaven. For he makes the sun shine on bad and good people alike, and gives rain to those who do good and to those who do evil. would like to introduce Oakbrook Moravian Church to you. You can see the church behind me, which was built in 1750-51. And when I turn my camera, you can see the buildings belonging to the school Then going further down the hill. And on the other side of the church, there are also buildings, which used to be the single sister's house and today part of the boarding facility of the school and further on also flats. Now this is what our Moravian settlement looked like three weeks ago. Beautiful! The settlement wrote the church and the school buildings here and our congregation in the 1880s. It's changed just a little bit so looked at our congregation two years ago, an Easter morning. Now I could talk about garden parties and many other events about the spring here in the burial ground and cafe style services with Phil leading and so much more. But we need to move on and we will travel to Leicester. Upwork roughly between Nottingham and Derby, and we travel 30 miles south to Leicester. And the congregation in Leicester is much younger, founded about 43 years ago, and we do not have our own church building. We worship in the Methodist Church Wesley Hall. We celebrate Christmas with our Methodist friends together, I could talk about anniversaries, beautiful with music and very good Caribbean food. I would like to mention Wesley Hall Community Center right next door and we have quite a few connections. The Community Center is helping people who live in the vicinity helping in many ways with the food bank and offering many social activities. Many people from South Asia live in the area. There are many offers, social activities online at the moment, baking and craft and all sorts of useful things. And here our coffee morning 
with Christians and Muslims together and talking about faith and the world. Sponsored work and I could mention so much more but again we need to move on and we travel now to India. You can see here India, the border to China Ch and here a bit zoomed in Nepal, India, China, Bangladesh, Myanmar which is so much in the news at the moment. Let me go back one more. Our congregations can be found here in Ladakh, the oldest ones, Le, She and Kalatse. And we have congregations in Dehradun, Rajpur, in the capital, New Delhi Fellowship, then congregations here in Assam, and Manipur, Binakhandi, and Haflong, and Latinkal, and also a fellowship in Silcha. And not to forget Nepal with Kathmandu as the capital congregation there, and several congregations in the close vicinity. Now let's travel to Ladakh, high up in the Himalayan mountains beautiful sites, the old city of Leh, and here the church in Leh was built in the 1880s. A new church has been built in the meantime. The congregation has grown. There are also many Nepalese immigrants. Congregation picture about three years or so ago. And the Moravian Mission School plays a big part with about 900 students in Leh. We also visit Himali Mitra, a children's home for Nepalese immigrant children. And we now travel to She, about 20 minutes away by car, and visit the church and the congregation in She. We stay in Ladakh but travel now further west to Kalatse and you can see these breathtaking views here in this in this valley. Sheer beautiful. We arrive in Kalatse, visit the school and the church here, children's Sunday school. And we travel back to Rajpur and visit the Moravian Institute in Rajpur, Dehradun. Our five student ministers in India Levy, Nathaniel, Dimchui, Bir, and Jacob, here in front of the church in Rajpur. This was about five years ago. And we now travel all the way to the east to Binakandi. See the church here. This is a very new picture, the annual assembly in Manipur and Assam. This was possible in spite of Corona. We see the church inside and the congregation and worship together. The Moravian Institute in Binakandi. And I could talk about the rubber farm and so much more. But we move on once again and we travel to Haflong, another congregation in the area in Assam. We didn't have time for Latinkal, but now move on to Nepal and visit various congregations in Nepal. And also Shrasti Academy School in Kathmandu. Now we will get some greetings from India directly. Hello to everyone. My name is Dimchui Rongmai, 
I'm a student pastor serving in Moravian Church, Leh Ladakh, in Western Himalayas, in the northern part of India. On this auspicious Foundation Day of Moravian Church worldwide, on behalf of the Leh Moravian congregations, I bring greetings to the congregations in Berlin, Ogburg, Leicester, and to all Moravians around the world. Of Leh Moravian Fellowship Congregation, I leave it on my brings greeting to all of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm from northeast part of India, but I'm serving here in Delhi. We are around 15 members. It is my privilege to be a part of this worship. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> The brass band of our church says hello to everyone. My name is Edmund Becker, one of the ministers of the Moravian Church in Berlin. What is the Moravian Church in Berlin all about? First of all, people. Members of our church, around 450, scattered all over the neighboring counties. Friends, who likes to visit us. Room for service, for groups, for events. And of course, the Moravian Church in Berlin is a lot of history, 280 years. And a little bit Moravian star. And of course, the watchwords. Let's have a look. This is not the entrance of the Moravian Church, but this gate was built at the end of the century when the first refugees from Czech, from Bohemia, came to Berlin and settled nearby. This is not the Moravian Church in Berlin. It's the German House of Parliament. But we know that some of the members are reading the daily watchwords. This, of course, is also not the Moravian Church. It's the house of Chancellor Angela Merkel. But she likes the Moravian star. This is not the Moravian Church. It's the old Berlin University. But August Hermann Franke, the missionary, Moravian missionary in Leh, Ladakh, was professor at this university. This finally is the entrance of the Moravian church from the church lane. The view from the garden a couple of weeks ago in winter, sometimes overcrowded in Advent, but not last year. Last year, physical distance. A group of couples in September and older sisters in June. Confirmants visiting a Hindu temple. Lectures, a lecture on August Hermann Franke. And a lot of services outside in the garden. thoughts about the daily watchword of March 1st. Jacob said to Joseph, Go now, see if it is well with your brothers and with the flock. Genesis 37. Dear sisters and brothers, no story in the Bible is as vivid 
and full of details as the story of Joseph and his brothers and of course his parents, Jacob and Rebecca. Many of us has, have some idea of this story and it is worth reading it again. Just one verse today, the watchword of March 1st. At first I thought, what a good verse. Go and look out for others. That is fitting for us in the Moravian Church. But my second thought was, it doesn't fit at all. There is a crisis in Jacob's house. Joseph, the second youngest, is a show-off for the brothers and without doubt Rebecca's favorite son, Mama's boy. That offends the brothers. Joseph goes to the brothers, finally finds them and barely escapes death. At the end of a long journey, many years later, there is a great reconciliation between Joseph and his brothers. Now, I don't want just to compare the story of Jacob's family with what of our Moravian church, our Moravian family. And yet, something is very similar. Going and finding ways to getting in touch with one another and being concerned about the other's well-being, that is unity. It's a good comparison because it's also about our living conditions. Joseph should also see if the cattle are okay. The cattle, that is what we deal with, our work and our income, our society. And it's a good comp comparison because it's human. We are different. We tend to compare ourselves with others. The closer we get, the more the possibility increases that we will be disappointed in each other. But worse than the, that is the apathy and the indifference. And especially in times of the corona pandemic, it is amazing to see how close we are to each other. The text for today says it again in other words. Let each of you look not to our own interest, but to the interest of others. Philippians 2. Now, let's have a talk about what we experienced. Hello, Erdmann. Good to see you here in Berlin and I'm in Ockbrook in England. And here we are on Zoom together. It's good to see you, Joachim, um, and uh, I know your office already and your piano in, behind you, and um, it's good uh, to be in contact with you uh, since one year. Yes, it's an amazing story, and I think we should share this little story with all those who watch this video. Definitely. On the 9th of March last year that I intended to fly to India in order to support, visit congregations, to work with our student ministers and uh, our provincial board uh, supported this and sent me. I was supposed to be there for about eight weeks, but it didn't happen. You were supposed to come, but you didn't come. Yes, I, I remember that um, brother um, Theo Clemens from our pro, your your co-bishop in the provincial um, in in our continental province asked me um, uh, to uh, to go um, because he he couldn't uh, go on this uh, journey um, and uh, accompany you. And uh, well, 
and I, I studied um, maps and I, I studied uh, um, the congregations. I was uh, so eager uh, to to be on this uh, on, on this journey and to, to get to know the Moravians in India. But but then uh, I was disappointed very much. I have to say. I was disappointed too, but in the end, something good came out of this situation. But maybe just going back a little bit, why going to India? It is the British province who is doing the administration of the Moravian Church in India. And hopefully at some point, the work in South Asia, Nepal included, will become a unity province, but there's still a way to go and we were supposed to go in order to work a little bit towards this, but mainly also to work with our student ministers um, for in Lay for one week, bring them all together. Dim Chui, who is in Lay in the Himalayas, Levy, who is working in Delhi, Delhi Fellowship, Bill, who is the student minister of the Rajpur congregation, Jacob and Nathaniel, who are working in Assam and Manipur. And we do look forward to one day when they can be ordained as ministers and working together towards this point is very important. And after all, we are doing it now by Zoom. <laughs> yes, um, I, I remember um, um, after the, all our plans uh, were destroyed uh, through the uh, Corona pandemic, uh, you called me and said, well, um, can we start um, to, to have a, a study group on, on Zoom? And I said, well, we can do this. And uh, since the end of, of June 2020, we are almost uh, every second week together for one and a half an hour. And um, all these names you mentioned are not only names, but um, now friends and brothers. And um, first we were far, but now I feel we are very much near. And we are very grateful that the circle has wi is widened. Uh, Susan Quildan Foreman has joined us, and also Michael Newman, and Roberta Hoy, and Paul Holdsworth, the latter two from the provincial board. We are working together, working and living together. It is so valuable that we can share with our Indian friends, brothers, so much about life, about faith, and often many very personal things, and we can pray for one another. So maybe yes. half of what we are doing is sharing, and the other half studying. Yes, uh, and so we, we shared um engagements and weddings and illness and and death and and so um, um when when i became ill uh, i i knew that uh, these brothers uh, would pray for me and uh, uh, vice versa too and so it is it is amazing for me this is um this is unity on on an uh, unexpected level we are looking forward to the day when we can travel again and when we can meet oh, yes. in person. <laughs> in the meantime, we have made the most out of the situation and we are so grateful for technology. That we can connect and carry on with this work in an almost more intensified way than we would have been able with, uh, when meeting for a short time personally yeah. um, I, I from the beginning on I I never felt that I am a, a teacher as the older person um, but I um, 
I learned a lot about uh, from from my brothers and from you, of course. Um, uh, in, in in some in, in some ways, we 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 have we, we share the same situation, not only in in terms of COVID nineteen, but also living in a um, in in a society uh, with people of un, of other religion, uh, um, and and so the situation in Berlin, Neukölln, and maybe in Leicester, and maybe in some cities in India, are uh, interesting. Um, the slight differences and, and to share about uh, how we uh, act as Christians, how we live as Christians in such an uh, environment is, um, is, is very good. This is also a topic which will stick in my memory. How do we live together with people of other religions, how do we interact and so forth. But of course, in our study group, we also have looked at topics like worshipping, uh, what is part of a worship service, uh, visiting in different contexts and for different purposes, and so much more. Only lately, we have looked at the ground of the unity, an important document for our worldwide Moravian Church. Yes, so maybe a summary of what we have done. Yes. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Each year, Moravian churches across the world collect funds for a particular project. This year, funds will go towards the construction of a centre in Malawi that will serve a congregation, the community and the provincial board in Malawi. The Moravian church in Malawi is also committed to working with nearby refugee camps. If you can support this work, please do so. Details can be found on this slide. Lord Jesus Christ, you have chosen your church from all the peoples of the earth. We ask that your church may stay faithfully to you and serve you happily. That your church may hear your call to the service of reconciliation. Bless all prayers and actions in the Church and beyond the borders of countries and denominations. Give us joy in the many gifts with which people praise you and serve you. We are one in you. Help us to meet one another in love. Many people serve you, Christ, in our congregations. We pray for all who look out for one another and preach, who care and heal, accompany and support, learn and teach, help and organize and play music, who administer and direct, watch and pray. We thank you for the bond between sisters and brothers in our congregations and in the worldwide Moravian Church. We thank you for everyone who supports us in our service. Keep us in fellowship with one another and use us as living stones in your house. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, 
as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. you and keep you. Der Herr lasse sein Angesicht leuchten über dir und sei dir gnädig. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.